Welcome back to MCC Connects. Joining me now is John Femia and Kathy McCarran, both instructors at Middlesex Community College. But John, you're an instructor of business. Mm -hmm. uh, Kathy, an instructor of English. Mm -hmm. And you're here today to talk about what we call learning communities, where the two of you combine your classes, mm -hmm. business and English, into what is called learning communities. Mm -hmm. So tell us how that all came about, John. Um, well, what we found was, I used to teach um, Introduction to Business, and some of my students had a hard time writing papers. Um, so I, I met Kathy, and they, they had the Learning Community Initiative to take two classes and combine it to one so the students could take concepts from one class and apply it to another class. In fact, we found out um, in computer class, they also learn some things that carry over to accounting. So we're working on trying to teach students how what they learn in one class applies to another. Uh, so. I was having trouble with my students writing papers, so Kathy and I got together and I found that when we taught the things together, their papers came out much better in, in the business concepts. It must be hard to, um, to get across to them otherwise that you're reading a business paper but their grammar is terrible, yeah. or their, mm -hmm. their spelling is terrible. What, um, how did Community? I do, and I much prefer to teach in the learning community. So how does a learning community class work? What are the hours? Are they, is there a difference in hours? Is there a difference in credit? Well, uh, my class is, is three credits, and Kathy's class is three credits, and they would generally run from, mine would run from 9 to 10.15, and Kathy's would be 10.30 to 11.45. It's just one class combined now, so they get six credits instead of three and three, and they both classes come together as as one. How long have you been doing this? This is our fourth year and um, we keep trying to improve it and making it more relevant to the students and having more interactive activities um, to engage the students because they are with us for three hours at a time and I can't, I can't even imagine <laughs> that. That yeah. must be very challenging to keep. It goes by it, very it, fast it's, for us. It's, but yeah, it's, it's way faster than if, if I taught two business classes uh, back to back this goes by much faster, so it's the opposite of what you would think. And we take turns, we go back and forth, and John will give something on uh, business, and then I'll talk about writing, and then John will reinforce um, the, the importance of writing from his own business experience. Yeah. It's generally a class to prepare them for all the other classes they're gonna take. So you learn a little bit about um, business, a little bit about management, a little bit about marketing. Uh, we do quite a bit in our class in, in ethics, um, so biz business ethics comes in a lot. Um, and we do things on finance and understanding the, the finance, financial industry, investments, how to prepare for their future. So we try to take those business things and um, develop writing assignments that go along with those types of concepts. How do you, cor how do you correct or, or grade the project then? Do you grade the thought and you grade the grammar? Or how, how do you... How John usually, I mean, there are separate <coughs> business assignments, and for the research paper, we meet with every student together. Mm -hmm. and we have a conference, oh. and we help them uh, sharpen their argument. Right. And then I do more of the, the grading of the grammar and pieces like that. But John takes a look at it to yeah. make sure it's on, on target. And I'll, I'll, like I might tell him, oh, well, go here for this resource, or that, that might not be the direction you want to go in. That's going to be a difficult uh, paper. It, it's funny because I learned from Kathy <laughs> how to narrow it. I've actually learned to be a better writer from watching what oh, she does I'm in sure. class. Yeah, so I can guide them a little bit better, and then she generally does all the grading for the the grammar, the spelling, the uh, all the all the English concepts. Mm -hmm. Well, we were both attracted to the idea of doing an interdisciplinary course, and as an English teacher, I love the idea that the students will get more time really thinking about content, so they have that to bring to their writing. And one of the things that I really love about how it works for the students is that I see much more critical thinking in their writing. So I got to see two of the projects. Mm -hmm. One was a TV commercial. So mm -hmm. what was the, um, how did English comp fit into the students producing a TV commercial? 
Um, most well, we worked with Noreen McGinnis mm -hmm. on the TV commercial, and the the students had to sketch out. Um, they did concept mapping, and they they mapped out their story. But in the past, when John has just done the commercial with um, business, he hasn't focused on making sure that that it sounded okay. So the, the students wrote a script, and then also to make sure that there were no errors. You know, mm -hmm. when they have the when they had any kind of graphics, and so that's really how how that came into play. But it was more really the concept of narrowing a topic, understanding your audience, understanding the purpose, which comes into play in more formal or traditional kinds of writing. And getting your your, your message across in what mm -hmm. thir they were thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. That's the hard part. They they all had a great time. They were like, we can't get it in thirty seconds. I go, we have to get it in thirty mm -hmm. seconds. So, I have to say they were they were really enthusiastic about them. Though they were the the couple that we have to show, mm -hmm. they were so excited. Yeah. And, and they got to go interact with the owners of the businesses. And Tuto Bene is a gourmet cheese and wine cellar located in the heart of Lowell. We are a unique store featuring a large selection of hand-picked wines and knowledgeable staff that will work with you to pick out the perfect bottle of wine for any occasion. Tuto Bene, where everything is great. Oh, and that was another change this yeah, year. Yeah, we, we used to have them do a fictitious um, bicycle company, and now we figured out if they go out and they they get a real client, it, it's much more meaningful. But now the bicycle company was at the Mike's Bikes, yes. so we also got to see that. Tell us a little bit about that um, project. Yeah, they play a simulated game with Mike's Bikes. Um, I think one of the things they learn in a simulation is, you, you can tell them the concepts, but once they really start practicing, in the game they get to see how everything ties together. So in the um, in the game, they they get to choose which product. There's there's three. You're different calling products. it a game, but it's really a learning. Instrument, it's a, a mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, a business simulation. System. Okay. So they're simulation. put in teams of four, and they they come up with um, after we go over the, all the concepts, they decide which product to make. They can make a, a kids bike, um, a mountain bike, or a road bike, and and each bike has different characteristics. For example, you want to price the kids bike low because you know the parents are paying for it, and and price is very important. But if they go into the road bike, for example, that would be someone who's a real bike enthusiast. So if your price changes by a little, it doesn't really affect your sales. So they get to, de to decide um, which product to make. Do they price it high? Do they price it low? Um, if, if they price it high, they make a lot more money on it. If they price it low, they get a lot more volume. And, and they compete against each other, which is kind of cool. So every year we... They, we, they get more and more responsibility. And the other interesting aspect of it is that the committed students do very well because there are reports affiliated with each of the different decisions they have to make. And the oh, students, so that's where the English comes in. They have to write a report as mm -hmm. to well, what. Just well, they read reports that the game generates, oh, mm -hmm. and and we've had them um, keep journals, and so that they have to explain <coughs> what's going on, and then we can get a sense of who's really understanding it. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy McCarran, John Famia, thank you so much for joining me today. And good luck, and I commend you for what you're doing with our students. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me for another episode of MCC Connects. Stay tuned next month so that you too can stay connected to Middlesex Community College.